You're watching News 4 at 4. He, he has been all over the globe from Africa to Asia, South America to South Korea. Now travel journalist Rudy Maxa is visiting Washington, D.C. He'll be at the D.C. Travel and Adventure Show this Saturday, and he's joining us now here in the studio to talk about his travels. Good it's to so have good you to here. See you. Yeah, yeah, nice to be here. Thanks yes. for having me. So one of the first things we wanted to ask you is, you know, you've been all around the globe and shooting your TV series, Rudy Max's Journal. Mm -hmm. You also have a public radio series. One of the benefits of traveling so much is that you start to learn the tricks of the travel trade, things like how to get the cheapest flight and how to get some extras. So share some of those tips I would with love us. to tell you that there's one website where you get the cheapest <laughs> airfares, but that's where it's likely to find that is to have a unicorn wander onto ah. the set. It's not going to happen. But there are some things. I mean, when I look for flights, I will often look at google.com forward slash flights or kayak, K-A-Y-A-K. Because if you go to an airline site, let's say you go to American Airlines site, they're going to get you out on American and back on American. Mm -hmm. The two sites I just mentioned might say, go out on American, but come back on United because the, the, the flight back that way is cheaper. cheaper. So it gives you more alternatives. Um, I, I do a thing in my speech where I talk about 12 secrets that travel writers and travel providers, car Car rental firms, hotels, airlines won't tell you. Like, for example, the non-refundable ticket, which yeah. is what 90% of people buy if you're not yeah. a business traveler. It's refundable for 24 hours if, you buy it in the, if you're buying from in the United States. That's good to but know. the airlines, you know, they never put it in big type. Yeah. It's, it's always true. in small type. And people don't, they say, oh, I changed my mind the next day or somebody said, I found a better fare. You got 24 hours to refund it. If you, uh, you know, if, if you miss your flight to catch a cruise ship or you are on a land tour on a cruise ship and you miss getting back on the ship in time, mm -hmm. it's your responsibility to catch up. Now, if you book a cruise and your flight is late getting there to get you on and you book the flight through the cruise company, it's their responsibility to get you onto the ship. Ah. But if you book your own flight down and you don't go day ahead or, or your flight's late and you miss the cruise ship, yeah, you're on your own. you chase it. Now, right. All right. We like, we like doing things in fours here. All right. So you're giving us two. Give us two more tips that you would well, you give I, any I, traveler. Well, you know, I always tell people how I, I do. I'm, for years, I've talked on, on, on you know, my writings and on, about how to avoid getting scammed while you're traveling. Because people tend to leave some common sense at home. They're so excited to be somewhere. It's all new. The sense, it's all a sensory input thing. Mm -hmm. I, I write about this all the time. I was in Buenos Aires last year walking down a deserted street, and there was a couple looking at a map, and I was with a buddy. And my buddy suddenly felt something. And... To make a long story short, the couple had a mustard squeezer and they put a combination of mustard and vinegar all over them. And oh. they started in Spanish pointing up as if there were bird droppings everywhere. And he uh -huh. was like this. And, oh, they happened to have a little bottle of water and paper. And I'm helping them clean himself off. And about, they walked away. Wow. And it took me about 10 seconds to go, where's that iPhone? Uh -huh. Gone. Uh, distraction. So uh -huh. anybody gets near you, yeah. quickly, if you don't speak the language, push them away. Yeah. Push them away. Had that happen, <laughs> but not with mustard and vinegar. Uh, and if you remember your ATM pin card as, as letters, remember when you go overseas, there are no letters on, on the keypads. Ah. And you no, A is not on one, two, uh, on the number one. A, B, C mm -hmm. is not on one. In America, it starts at two. But every, you know, I think your average person say, well, of course A is on one. So remember the Remember numbers. your pin number, pin, pin code as a number, not your son's name or your best dog, your dog's name. <laughs> All right. Stuff. Really good tips. Thank you, Rudy. Right, nice to be here. Thanks for that. That was just the tip of the iceberg. You said he's got at least 12 tips that you don't want to miss. You're going to be speaking at the at Travel Adventure Show. At the Travel Show, show at the Washington Convention Center on Saturday. Yeah. Maybe this right. Saturday. Right. Signing autographs, too? I'd be happy to. Okay. Yes. All, right. Deal. All right. All right, folks. Thanks, Rudy. Good Thanks to see a lot. you. Glad to have you here.